Hi, Mortgage Heroes. Andy Cruz here in Business Development, and this is Monday Mortgage Minute. Welcome back to a new week. We kind of have a short week this week as far as news is concerned. There's not that much happening. Uh, obviously, you're probably hearing about the infrastructure bill being signed. You also have some new talk about if he will or if he will not be the Fed chairman anymore. That is speaking of Jerome Powell. Uh, Janet Yellen recently said that we have a lot of options on the table, but comments prior to that said that they were ready to just continue with Jerome Powell being the Fed chair. And I don't know if that means it's up to it's up in the air right now whether or not he will continue to be or not. But the uh, president's decision will be coming down in the next two weeks. That may or may not move rates in a particular direction. Right now, all eyes are focused on the pure mechanics of the economy and what's actually happening with inflation, what's actually happening with supply chain, what's actually happening with jobs, what's actually happening with wage increase, uh, what's actually happening with the cost of goods outpacing wage increase. So. All the focus on the economic side really just seems to be on uh, jobs, labor, inflation, cost of goods, supply chain, all those kinds of things. Uh, and, and, and you know, that's that's tough coming into the winter season for other parts of the country where, of course, they uh, have to heavily rely on their heating systems and their, their cost to get natural gas to do that. Uh, it's coming under some, some great pressure right now in the week leading up into December. Um, I don't know yet how that's going to function and uh, fit into the narrative for the mortgage uh, situation though, because that, that predominantly resides still at the hands and feet of the Fed, their monetary policy, and what they do with the tapering, which is starting this month. So the markets, I think, are starting to price in the tapering already a little bit. And you saw last week rates went up a little. They had kind of like slid in real low just for a second, and they kind of whipped right back to where they were. So we haven't really seen that much of a net change in rates in the last six weeks when it's all said and done. I think moving forward ahead, what we should be looking at is the effects in the marketplace coming into December once tapering has begun, once we have a decision on what the Fed chair is going to look like, if it'll be it's just continuation of what we're doing now, or if they just slide someone in brand new, uh, that will, I think, tell the story of what we should expect for rate increases ahead and how the markets are going to react and price that accordingly into the mortgage-backed security market where our interest rates come from. So don't expect too much of a change as far as rates going up or down in vast amounts this week. It should be pretty neutral. There's not a lot of heavy economic data coming out that's gonna just sway things in one direction or the other. Uh, pretty muted week, actually. Um, and then, of course, next week you have Thanksgiving coming up. So it might be a little bit of a slow end of November for us all uh, looking at the markets, but it'll definitely look different in December, and that should hopefully tip us off to what to expect in 2022. Thank you again for watching this video. Please remember to share this video. Give it a like if you're watching this on YouTube. And we wish you a great week, and we'll see you again next week.